Toyota executed a cunning strategy with a Land Cruiser. They pulled the SUV from the US market only to reintroduce it a year later. Vans were happy to see the legendary vehicle being redesigned after nearly two decades. Despite the premium price tag, the Land Cruiser had no downsides. The company wasn't even offering trim levels for this model, nor were there many optional upgrades because the vehicle came fully loaded. The new Land Cruiser for the United States is actually the Land Cruiser Prado, a smaller and less powerful version of the SUV, essentially a counterpart to the Lexus GX. It's more compact and not as loaded with advanced features. An 8-inch screen, it's a joke. So the $25,000 discount on the 2025 model year compared to its predecessor is merely a ploy to sell a different SUV under the Land Cruiser badge. But things could change if Toyota makes the following improvements. We knew a V8 won't be there after the redesign. Before the Land Cruiser was updated, the company launched the Lexus LX with a potent turbo V6. Literary everyone expected the same for the Land Cruiser. But that didn't happen. Instead, the new model is downsized even more and packed with a turbo 4 hybrid system producing 326 ponies. So when you see the mileage jump from 15 to 23 miles per gallon, you know something is wrong. Toyota shaved off 450 pounds from a total weight, but the new model is not at the same category as an old one. Plus, Toyota has taken away the best feature about this SUV, its off-road capabilities. The new engine won't match the driving experience of V8. Even its replacement for Tundra truck and Lexus LX can't do it. However, extra punch is welcome, since a turbo V6 with the iForce Max hybrid setup can crack 437 horsepower and 537 pound-feet of torque. Even the base configuration offers better outputs than V8, 409 horsepower and 479 pound-feet, compared to 381 ponies and 401 pound-feet. On the other hand, the 5.7 is the gold standard for reliability, while the new V6 twin-turbo engine still needs to prove its durability. Enthusiasts would trade the current four-cylinder unit for either of these options in a heartbeat. The old Land Cruiser had been outdated for years, and Toyota's redesign was long overdue. The fresh cabin now includes a 14-inch screen on top trim levels and supports wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Apart from the new tech, there's nothing else that will amaze you. First of all, the vehicle is smaller than before. There is no third row, seating is limited to five passengers, cargo area is tight with Toyota managing to compromise it further with a high floor, and there are no enough small item storage compartments available. Manually adjusted seats and cloth upholstery are the major downgrade from the previous version, while offering multiple trim levels is a step forward for sure. The first edition won't be there for the 2025 Toyota Land Cruiser, but a new high-end package is going to debut. With the price tag around $75,000 that includes leather upholstery, heated and cooled buckets, premium JBL audio system, and a few other advanced features, the SUV can be considered a successor to the old Land Cruiser, a vehicle that perfectly blended utility and luxury. Off-roading with the new Land Cruiser is an entirely different experience than before. It is smaller, lighter, and more agile vehicle, so rough terrain can be conquered with ease. Owners share positive experience with minor drawbacks. As expected, some turbo lag is noticeable, though it's minimized. However, it's still present, unlike with the V8 engine. Also, we haven't seen the new Land Cruiser facing the ultimate challenge on most difficult off-road terrains, such as Moab Desert or Fordyce Creek Trail. Well, you will rarely see the old Land Cruiser there. But not because the SUV was incapable to tackle challenges, but because of its premium price and high maintenance cost. No matter how many skid plates and protective features you add, the body will always take hits that require repairs. It was surprising to see the new Land Cruiser start at $55,000. At first, enthusiasts believed it is a bargain, but they weren't getting the same SUV or anything close. Well, yes, the styling was rugged, but this is Prado. If Toyota decides to launch the true Land Cruiser in 2025 with all the upgrades, that will mean the price bump, ending the recent maneuver they attempted. The previous version with a V8 engine and three rows of seats was priced above $80,000.
After only a few years, it could easily raise to $90,000. This isn't shocking for a full-size luxury SUV, as its rivals are similarly priced.